You've returned. I was beginning to fear that you too might have been lost. Did you find out what had happened down there at the facility? Uh, the construction woke something up. Something was down there? Living in the rift by the Colto? Yep, big shark. It's horrible. The entire operation wasted by a disaster we could never in a thousand years have foreseen. What has happened to the facility itself? Were there any survivors? Uh, yeah, a few. That's good to know. Good to know indeed. But what has happened to the facility? Was it damaged? Yep. No, that is terrible. That will set our work back years. It may even cost us the war. While I am glad that you were able to solve our problems, the cost may have ended up being much too high. But you have done your job and helped us in our time of need. And for that, I thank you. Oh, and did you end up finding your star map? Yes, I did. As you can see, by helping us, you helped yourself. Perhaps we can work together again in the future. Cool. Alright, and out we go. Why are they coming out of the hotel? I guess we're under arrest again. What do we do to the rift? Uh, explosion at the research station that both of our governments set up. They're squabbling over the joint secret science base. Uh, yep, machinery woke up a giant shark. Uh, did I kill the shark? Uh... No, I destroyed the machinery to save it. Shark is the common ancestor for your people. Da -da 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 -da. And they let us go. They don't give us anything, but they do let us go. So we'll take that. Um, Alright, and that should be it. We can now return to the Ebon Hawk. Soon as Alvar catches back up to us. Any second now. There we go.
Can I return to the Ebonhawk now? Yep. Return to the Ebonhawk. Alright, and that is all of Manon. Let's do a quick round of talking to some people. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, what are your thoughts now? This thing with Joggy. I... I don't know. Give me some time and I'll be able to sort this out on my own. Is there something else? Nope. You're... Alright. Jolie... Any more conversation? How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Wonder if we talk. What, is... what happened after your father died? After my father died, my mother was left to support me alone. A single non-human woman, living in one of the worst, most violent slums on Terrace. It was not an easy life. Uh, what happened? When my father was killed, it seemed that something in her began to die as well. She worked. She worked as hard as she was able. But over time, she began to waste away. I later learned that she was unable to get enough money to feed both of us, and had to start borrowing from the exchange. A band of cutthroats and smugglers. But even that was not enough. She hid what she was doing from me. She gave most of her food to me so that I would be strong, but she herself was suffering deeply from it. In the end, she could go on no longer. And collapsed at the cantina where she worked one day. Uh, did she die? She never recovered. There was nothing really that I could do for her. She left me no money, and no doctor would see her without being paid first. I sat by her bed for days as she lay there dying. I never want that to happen to someone I care about ever again. But there was still the money she had borrowed. She had never paid it back and made no provisions for her death. You must understand. The exchange is brutal. They care nothing for the life of a sentient being. They are the major suppliers of slaves on Terrace. Uh, they captured you? They thought it would be appropriate that, with my mother owing them money, the debt should be passed on to me. And with no way to pay, they took me by force. You have no idea what this is like to be bound like a beast and treated as such. It was the worst time of my life. They treated me like livestock. They were waiting for a buyer to give them some credits for me when the Jedi came to fight the Mandalorians. They freed you? The Jedi could not abide by what they saw there and drove the exchange from the face of the world, freeing those of us imprisoned there. But the Jedi soon left to fight their war. And I was left with a dream. Uh, what'd you do? I swore that I would become a Jedi. As soon as I had enough money to do it, I bought passage on a freighter headed for Dantooine. We both know what has happened since then. Um. I am grateful to you for having given me the opportunity to fulfill my dream, rather than become what I hated. Someday, I may make it up to you. But for now, let us keep on the task at hand. Alright. Any more? May I be of a sit what is okay. No. Nope. Alright, let's see. Zabar, anything? Uh yeah, have anything more to say about yourself? Yeah, I'm sorry we couldn't stay on Kashyyyk longer. Uh, alright. Cool. Um, let's see. We have Jolie. Where is he at? Where's Medbay at? Oh, right here. Got something on you. Uh, you mentioned about having a wife earlier. Sorry, maybe we can talk about it later. Maybe, but I doubt it. I'm made stubborn that way. Can you not? Oh, not there it is. Uh. I. Yeah, don't mean to pry, but. Yes, you do. You may let me tell you something. Once you've lived as many years as I have, you'll have yourself a long, long list of memories. If you're lucky, most of them will be good. If you're not. 
Some will be bad. If you're really unlucky, some will be so bad you never want to be reminded of them again, ever. You'll go far away to a place that doesn't hold any memories at all. And there you'll be happy just to forget and be forgotten. Is that why you went to Kashyyyk? <laughs> Partly, maybe. I doubt I could ever explain it to you fully, even if I wanted to. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been in love? Truly in love, I mean, and not simple infatuation. Exactly. You're still at the beginning of your life. There will be women in your life. Perhaps many women. But if you're fortunate, you'll find love once. The Jedi, with their damnable sense of over-caution, would tell you love is something to avoid. Thankfully, anyone who's even partially alive knows that's not true. Yeah, Mr. Slovivice from an old Jedi. And why not? All this nonsense about avoiding love is so much foo-foo. I shouldn't be the only one who realizes that. Love doesn't lead to the dark side. Passion can lead to rage and fear and can be controlled. But passion is not the same thing as love. Controlling your passions while being in love, that's what they should teach you to beware. But love itself will save you, not condemn you. Uh, listen to me go on as if I had all the answers. What do I know of love anymore? I'm just a lonely old man who's not even a Jedi. Not even a Jedi, you mean not anymore, right? Nope, never was. Technically, I never rose above the rank of Padawan for various reasons. Does that surprise you? Uh, yeah, the way you describe your past, not really. I suppose I'm not prone to live my life like most of the Jedi Masters do, that's true. My opinions on love are no different. Love causes pain, certainly. Inevitably, love is going to lead to as much sorrow and regret as it does joy. I suppose there are perfect eternal loves out there, but I haven't seen any. And how do you deal with the bad part of love is what determines your character. What determines the dark side's hold over you. So what happened between you and your wife? I haven't changed my mind. I'm still not going to talk about it. You go and find your own love if you want to know so badly. I'll tell you one thing. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you and the one you love simply aren't meant to be together. The trick is to know when that is. To know when it's time to fight and when it's time to part ways. <laughs> there I go, waxing philosophical again. Somebody blast me already. Let's get going before I start talking in riddles, damn it. Oh, okay. Anything else? Something on your mind. Nope. Oh. Okay. Uh, mission. Let's go talk to her. Hey there. What? Talk about your brother, but I think it's just gonna. I appreciate. It. I get. Yeah, okay. Hey there. Oh, oh, I need to go. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Her stuff's done, so now we just have Karth and Basila. Yes, what's on your mind? Karth doesn't have anything, and Basila. How can I help? Nope. Okay. Then I said. And we're good to go. I actually want to go to Yavin, I think. Here we go for the jump. What happened? What's going on? Sith interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. 
Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saw Carrot's vessel. I own them too. Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet, and a hero to me, until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, to Saul Kareth's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. Um... Yeah, don't let Revenge Clan's judgment. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but... I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape. Nobody better get my way. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. I'll admit it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. We count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Carroth doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. We just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. Um. Yeah, he'll be watching the three of us, so one of the others is gonna have to do it. Well, if we're gonna pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're gonna have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. Okay, T3. Well, the droid's right. Disable him, the Sith will probably wipe his memory chips and take him to the junk pile. But if we can rig a backup memory chip with a timer, when it kicks in, the little fellow will be reactivated and he can come find us. Alright, let's do it. Hold on, they're dragging us into the docking bridge. So each, in this section, each side character has their own scenario. Um, I believe T3 is the one that gives us the most experience. So that's what we're going to go with. Found a disabled astromech droid in the back of the ship. Wipe its memory chips and take it to the junk pile. Maybe we can use some of its parts for salvage. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my home world. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. It was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Carath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the Dark Side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. Ah, uh, yeah, you're wasting your time. You're defiant. I'm certain Malak will find your loyalty to the Jedi amusing. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. Uh, history? What you talking about? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malik is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. <laughs> Uh, 
Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malik will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. Yeah, what are you talking about? I am interrogating you, not the other way around. You will answer questions, not ask them. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Bastila will suffer. Uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna betray the Jedi Order. My pain is meaningless. Tell him nothing. I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy of which you were trained? No, I never shot very well. This is the price of your resistance. <laughs> Enough. You see what happens when you try to defy me. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. Yeah. Pay for your More empty threats. We Sith prefer to let our actions speak for us. Perhaps that is why we are winning this war. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? Uh, I'm not betraying the Jedi. Perhaps you need a reminder of the consequences of refusing to cooperate. Uh, no! Uh, uh, Fing! Uh, uh, Listen, can you not hear her suffering? can spare her further pain by simply answering my questions. Now I will ask again, on what mission did the Jedi Council send you? Yeah, babe. This accomplishes nothing. Perhaps another lesson is in order. No! Ah, no! I beg you, no! Mercy! No! no! I am surprised she did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment and remain conscious. I see I am wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered merciful among the Sith. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. Ah! All right. Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Gareth had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Karth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. Uh, no one's without yes. repent redemption. I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that hope in the face of such unbridled cruelty. But you speak the truth. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taras, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? Uh, it's hard to believe. I'd like to believe that Saul was lying to us. But even as he said the words, I knew they were true. The Academy is gone. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger. Casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, Thandar, Zar. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saw gets back. Uh, where is he now? Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival report the results of our interrogation. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. I have to confess something. There was a moment, just a moment, when part of me was hoping you would tell him what he wanted to know, just to make the horrible pain stop. 
Yeah, sorry about that. I know you would never do anything to intentionally cause me pain, but you did the right thing. I don't honestly know if I could have been as strong in your position to watch you suffer like that. It might have been too much for me to bear. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we're here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope T3M4 busts us out of here before he arrives. All right, T3. Alright, we need to slice the enemy droids. Streaming armor is being loaded to your core, but completely you can corrupt the data stream. It's gonna be three or one. Do I have these numbers? Yes, okay. Okay. Uh, zero. Three, no, yeah, three, one, zero, three, one, two. Is this, uh, yep, okay. There we go. All right, T3 time. Computer use, repair, security, awareness. Feats. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get the highest level of blaster pistol. He's almost maxed out on everything. All right. Cool, we get a lot of stuff from that. Anything to help us here? Yes, more awareness. And that's probably it. Okay. Decommission droid. Reactivate the droid. Leave it alone. Alright, cool. We got that droid up and running. Upgrade station. Cool. We'll take all that. Um... Got the type three, advanced stun, advanced flamethrower. I think we already have the best plating. Shield's fine. Okay. Um, I guess out we go. We can help. So this droid should be able to tank most of it for us. We'll just speed it along a little bit. There we go. Um, stun raid the medical bay. Tell me where the medical bay is. Directly across from us, okay. Cool, we'll need that. And that. Okay, nothing there. And then we want to go east. I think. As we go. This is a scenario that I just know the least about.
uh, bridge terminal. Cell blocks. We already have the thing with the point. Well, we don't have some gear spikes anyway, but. Medical we've already been through. Droid maintenance we've already been through. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me the area schematics for here. Just so I can see the names of stuff. Alright. Hey, there's some computer spikes. And nothing here. Okay. Um, detention is where we're trying to go, I think. Uh, but we have to go to cell blocks first. Nothing there. We can let these guys out. Yeah, we may just use the front door on these. Anybody here that can help us? Yeah, let's see what you got. What are we doing here? Sure, yep. Okay, yeah, we'll let you out. Cool. Got it. Nothing in those rooms. Let's go check out down here. What is in this room? Is it labeled? Barracks. Ah. We maybe don't want to open that. We are just a droid. Okay, we don't want to open the barracks just yet. Let's head up to the detention area now. Gonna go this way. Then zigzag around this corner. All right, detention area. Um, how do we open that door? It may be the console down here. We may be able to open it now. Let's give it a shot. Use the icebreaker. Oh yeah, open detention area. Turn cameras. Anything else? Barracks. Nothing we can do in the barracks. Cell blocks. Nothing to do there. I think we're good. Okay. Log out. Alright. Should now be open. I thought we had to use the icebreaker on the terminal inside the detention area. But no, we need to unlock the first door. Alright. Back to the detention area.